choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. She 28, telling me I'm still a baby. I get love in Detroit like Skiller, baby. And the thing about your boy is... Good day, friends. So, it's your boy Amir. Uh, I'm right now settled down more or less in Perth. Uh, this is in my room. Um, but the mess is mine, uh, as you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of shoes. I know. Anyway, um, the mess is mine because uh, it's been a hectic few days in Perth recently. So let me get you up to speed. Since I'm in Perth right now and I'm getting ready to start university, um, I've just been doing some shopping and yes, training and racing. So yeah, let me bring you guys on my first few days here at Perth. Light vlog. Hi Kyle. Uh, oh, we, we Hi Daryl. Then you. there's yes, there's Kara and there's Maran. I think at the back got uh Hakim, Sandeep and Adi. <laughs> Alright now, oh, I'm in. Um check in really. A few moments later. Alright y'all, so I just hit the gym. Uh I landed at like 4-ish, got to my uh, relative's house at like 7, then um, it's like 9-ish right now, so I hit the gym, did an uh, easy run just to shake out the legs, um, pretty meh, and then, I hit, uh, and then I did my exercises, and now I'm gonna get home, get some dinner, and then tomorrow morning I'll do a shake out run. Uh, I think, I mean I've done all that I can for tomorrow, so yeah. The next day. Good morning. Um, I gotta go do my shakeout run. Then I will. Yeah, I'll probably stock up. I'll, I'll need to go shopping today. And yeah, got a race tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So, um, if y'all didn't know, I'll be doing the future stage champs. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to it, to be honest. But. I don't know what to expect. I have been training for it, of course. But it's more of it's a new environment. And this entire season I've basically been running alone. So I'm a bit I'm not sure how things will unfold. So yeah. But that being said, I'll just execute my rage plan and see how things go. Later. All right, y'all. Um, uh, it's five twenty-eight. I'm gonna go. I just took a nap. I'm gonna go get ready. Um, mind the room. It's kind of messy, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready and I'm gonna make my way over to WA Stadium. It's pretty nice. Um, seven oh six. So yeah. I think my family's gonna come and watch, but yeah, uh, it's gonna have fun. Alright y'all, I'm warming up. Um I will um uh, racing the 3k. Like I said, I'm not really thinking of much. I'm just gonna run. You know myself. And yeah, hopefully run like a PB. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll see you after the race. Alright, so my plan going to the race was pretty simple. In fact, it was formulated minutes before I got to the line. Because I wasn't sure of the field since I didn't know anybody. Now that's the problem with going from the Singapore racing scene to the Western Australia's racing scene. You go from knowing every fast person in the field to being totally clueless. But thankfully, um, Owen helped me to pick up somebody to follow 
or rather race, and that person was Nikhil Redipali. In the clip, she's the one in the purple and yellow racing bit. Now when the gun went off, I didn't want to get caught up in everybody's rush to the inside lane, so I just dropped straight off to the back. But I made my way through the field within the first 200 meters and settled in right in the middle of the pack, um, behind Nikhil and a few others. As the laps ticked by, I was feeling comfortable. We ran through 1k in about 3 flat, and honestly, I expected a little more pain than I actually felt at that point. But I wasn't complaining. That pain that I was expecting came after a mile. 2k in, and our pack of 4 was breaking up with Nikhil moving away. I tried to follow, but I just couldn't. That point from 2k till 2.8k was the worst. You can literally see me struggling um, in the second last lap. Oh my god, yeah! Come on, Mir! And the Smith is in front. 100 meters to run. Tommy Walker, we can enjoy this run with Tommy. He is going to be the W. Now on the last lap, there were a few folks who passed me, but I was trying to keep up with Henry the one in the black racing singlet. I tried to push in the final 200 to try and catch him, but honestly, I was just way too gassed. Thankfully, I was dragged to a decent 912.79. Nicol Redipali crossing the line. Melden has had a good run just to tick over nine minutes. This is fast running from our men. Oh, good wheel. Hi guys, oh. I just got a PB. Sorry, 9 11 or 9 12? Not bad. Uh, big, big run for me. Uh, my man, I was like on pace for sub 9 at 2k. Then last bit, I just died. You dug deep, you didn't last bit. You didn't let them go thinking, oh wow, they're going white because of my PB patch. You gritted it out. I tried, I tried. Alright, boys. First race in pace, and first done. Uh, got a massive PB. So, yeah. Now, how do I feel about the race? Well, Coach Tony's instruction was to find someone to race instead of go for a time and that's what I did. And based on my personal expectation and what I've been training in Singapore, um, I reckoned that I could have done a sub 9.10 to be honest, uh, considering how fast the field was and the good weather. But still, I am pleased with a 9.12.79. Yes, I lost to Nikhil but this new way of running my races would likely help me to adapt better to racing in faster fields because for the time being i won't be at the front i won't be the fastest or among the fastest in the field so it's best that i learn to race against um, whoever's around me and you have to understand uh, me coming from singapore i'm used to just racing the clock or racing at the front of the pack uh, no offense to anybody else in singapore but it's just the reality of racing in Singapore versus racing overseas. Alright, so before we go, I just wanted to highlight all those who have qualified for the ASEAN University Games as well as the World Athletics Cross Country Championships so far. Okay, that's all for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed this, do like this video and subscribe to my channel to follow on my journey to try and qualify for the Australian Open 2024. Thank you to all my subscribers and friends who are following on this journey and um, supporting me. I'll try to continue uploading an episode a week, um, even as my schedule gets busier. But for now, I will see you all in a bit. Peace. I'm here, the best, man. Thanks, man. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Mike Kim, if I send you, you Maran, you're the only one that can fit into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Get off him, bro. See you, bro. <laughs> See you there, bro. So, how do I say goodbye? Someone who's been with me for my whole damn life. You gave me. Well